Okay, good evening. Welcome to Math for Kids number 30. Today's actually going to be a special lecture. It's not a MOEMS lecture. It's about imaginary numbers. Now, this morning, when we were doing some of our regular homework problems, you asked me about imaginary numbers. Why did you ask me about imaginary numbers? Where did you even hear about imaginary numbers? I think I heard you talking about them. You heard me talking about them? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh. Hmm. When was I talking about imaginary numbers? I don't, I don't remember. remember. I don't remember either. Okay, so it's kind of a weird, weird thing. I thought you heard about them somewhere. Okay, but that's <clears throat> so. What we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about imaginary numbers. You ready? Yeah. All right. Except so, so like some number x. Well, what we're gonna let me show you. We've we've learned about numbers like one, one, or how about two, one, zero, minus one, minus two. Okay, when you square these numbers, two times two, one times one, zero times zero. Minus 1 times minus 1. Minus 2 times minus 2. Let's see what we get. We get 2 times 2 is 4. Oh. Here, right over here. If you want to, if you want to write it, you can. Just write over here. Don't block the camera. 0 times zero. 0 is 0. Minus 1 times minus 1, one. is 1. one. Minus 2 times four. minus 2 is 4. Go back over. Okay, very good. And so the one thing we notice is they're never negative. Yeah. Okay? So we wonder, is there a number... Is there a number? Is sorry about that. There a number? I, we'll call it. What do people call it? I such that I squared equals minus one. Why do people call it I? Because I stands for imaginary. We can write I squared down, but the world doesn't explode when we write it. That's, oh! that's true. You can write it. Well, ultimate sound effect. Are we sure the world didn't explode? We're only in this room. Maybe the whole world except for this room exploded. Boom! <laughs> okay, so this is the question. Is there a number I, we'll just call it I, so that I squared equals minus 1? And we're just going to say, yes, there is. And it has one very special property. That this is the fun thing about math. You can just invent things. We just invented it. We call it I, and it has one special property, and only one special property, and that special property is that I squared equals minus 1. So that means I times I equals minus 1. Okay? And that's all we know about it. Yeah. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so let's see. It might have some fun... What if I had a um, 3 plus I? We have no idea what that is. What is 3 plus I? We know what 3 is. We know what I is. And then I wanted to add... I don't know, 6 plus 2i, okay? You think this would work? What do you think this would be if, if the world was going to work normally? <laughs> 9 plus 3i. 9 plus 3i. Boom. Boom! Okay, what about something a little bit more tricky? 6 minus 4i plus, I don't know, minus 3 plus i. What do you think this would be? Who's a minus and a plus? That's just a minus. So it's three. Three. Minus three i. Minus three i. Okay, because minus four i plus six. Because we and the other thing we know about i is i squared is minus one. So when we don't have an i squared, we just leave it as i. Okay. Now let's see if we can multiply things. Like we know how to multiply twelve times fourteen, right? Oh, 12 times 12. Let's see if we can do. I don't know. 2 plus i times, what do you want to do, 6 plus 3i? Hmm. Okay, so the first thing we do is we do 2 times 6 plus 3i. Yeah. And what's that? Well, it's 12 plus 6i. 12 plus 6i, and we don't know anything about i, it's just some, some i floating around. The only thing we know about it is i squared is minus 1. Okay, but now here's an interesting one, i times... 6 plus 3i. Well, what do you think i times 6 is? Well, it's 6i. 6i. Okay, I'll write that under, under this i. What do you think i times 3i is? Mm -hmm. 3i squared? Yeah, plus 3i squared. And we don't know anything about i. Oh, except for one thing. What is it that we know about i? i squared is minus 1. So what is 3i squared equal? What is 3 times minus 1 equal? It's a... What is... Minus 3. Minus 3. Wow. So this is the same. This one here is the same as minus 3 plus 3i. Three hmm. Okay? 
So if we want to add, if we want to add this together, minus 3 plus 3i plus 12 plus 6i, well, this is just 9 plus 9i. Well, that's interesting. Mm. So 2 plus i times 6 plus 3i is 9 plus 9i. Interesting. So look at look at what we just figured out. We just invented this number i. We just made it up. Boom. I. So I like the i squared. I like math because you can invent things a lot. Yeah, well, you can invent lots of things, but you have to make sure they work. But we, we figured out you could add, and we just figured out you could multiply. That's pretty neat. Let's see what other fun properties i has. Aside from i squared is minus 1. <clears throat> well, we know i... i to the first power is just going to be i. We know that i squared, sometimes I make my eyes with little tails, i mm -hmm. squared is minus 1. What do you think i cubed is? 1. Why? No. Hmm. Well, i cubed is just i squared times i, right? Yeah, which is minus 1 times i. So which is just what? We don't know if i is even or odd. No, we don't know. i is not even or odd. i is totally something... We don't even know. A category of its own. Yeah, so minus 1, this is minus 1 times i, which we'll just write as minus i. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Alright? Like usual. Okay, so what do you think i to the fourth is? Do you think you could figure that out? What i to the fourth power is? Following this example? What's well, i cubed times i? i cubed times i, very good, which is, we know i cubed is minus i times i. Well, what's i times i? I squared. It's minus I squared. So it's minus minus one. Yeah, well, what's minus plus, minus plus one? Plus one. That's plus one. So I to the fourth is one. What? Hmm. I to the fourth power is one. What times four equals one? Well, not times four to the fourth power. Hmm. To the four, not times four. No. To the fourth power. So I, I times I times I times I equals one. That's right. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. That's kind of crazy. It's interesting. So look what we just learned. I to the first power is just regular old I, because that just yeah. means one I. I squared we already knew about. That's minus one. I cubed is minus I. And I to the fourth power equals one. Whoa! So what do you think? Maybe I, maybe I to the eighth power is one, is one also. Well, let's see. What, what do you think I to the fifth is? I to the fifth is... It's not going to... It's... It's... One times i. It's one i to the fourth times i, which is one times i, which is just i. I. Repeat. I to the fourth is just i, and i to the or sorry, i to the fifth is just i. I to the sixth is minus one. Whoa. What? Repeat. I to the seventh is I just minus mean. i, and just like you said, i to the eighth equals one. That means i to the sixteenth is one. But it also means i to the twelfth is one. Yeah. It also means i to the twenty-fourth is one. Right. I mean, i to any power of four equals one. Yeah. i to, I to the eightieth. i to the eightieth? Or i to the four thousandth. Right. Or the four trillionth. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> or the four Google... Or the four Google Plex. <laughs> or the four... Or the four infinity. Ooh, four infinity. Interesting. What is four infinity? I don't know. Four infinity. Okay, so let's talk about one other thing. I to the zero. Here, scoot back just a little bit. I to the zero. Well, we know anything to the zero power is what? One. So that's nice because that pass. So the pattern of I to the fourth, I to powers of four, not powers of four, multiples of four equals one. So that's one, nice. one, here, just one. Stand, stand over there so the camera. I don't want to wreck my school But now we're going to learn I to the minus one, which is just one over I, right? Yeah. 1 over i equals i to the minus 1. Well, if this pattern continues, what comes before 1? Minus i. Minus i. The, the 1 over i is minus i. Cool! 1 over i equals minus i. This is cool. So i has all these crazy properties. And they just call it an imaginary number. Has anyone else found any other imaginary numbers? Um... Well, this I, you know this was found a long time ago. This is a really useful number. It's funny. I, I don't actually know mm. scoot, scoot over there, why it's called imaginary. Because it has all these fun properties. And here it is right here. And when we wrote it down, the world didn't explode, so it must not be imaginary. But it is imaginary. And there's another m more general kind of um, imaginary numbers called quaternions. Ooh. And those were, those were discovered by an Irish guy who was walking across a bridge, and he invented them walking across a bridge, and he didn't have anywhere to write it down. 
So he actually took a, took a stick and he carved them into the bridge. So we should go there sometime so we can see the Quaternions and the bridge in Ireland. Cool. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any more fun powers of eye. There's one way to visualize it, but I'll tell you about that some other time because I think we're out of time on our little video. Show yeah, we're out of our ten minutes. Yeah. All right, you want to wrap it up, call it a day? Wrap it up. Okay. So your homework is to tell me what I to the 24th power is. Hey, I think we, okay, I think I just told you that. What, what is it? One. <laughs> Very good.